let me just say, D'Lo, you you confirmed everything that everybody thought, and I don't I don't know what happened in the middle of your career. Uh, um, the way that things have been kind of going, it's looking like we're rounding out to the end of your career. But you you, you started your career with this whole Nick Young incident, and couldn't leave team shit in the locker room, handle with the team, not going out talking about it publicly. And you're doing it here later on in your life. Like, you didn't learn anything. Why do these players feel the need, active players, not past players, but active players, why do they feel the need to voice these concerns in this fashion? Even if things weren't being addressed in the team manner, I would love to ask, what does this do? Does, do you walk in the locker room and think that they're going to say, oh, you know what? We're going to start running more D-Lo pick and rolls. Like, is that what is that what you truly hope? What did you hope to get out of that? And then also, what do you expect to get out of that? Because you can't expect like a, a more positive response around what you just said. There's no way you can do that. Hey, shouts out to Jeff T. <laughs> shouts out to JJ Reddick. Um, to an extent, Quentin Richardson and, and Darius Miles, too. Seems like the only players that have or had mics that are realistic about their careers and their place in the NBA. Because everybody else, and we'll talk about some more today, just unrealistic about their times in the NBA, events in the NBA, what, what could have transpired, et cetera, et cetera. D'Angelo Russell, I promise you on a team with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, you knew that at some point you would get relegated to corner shots. And you knew that your fuck-ups would put you in this situation faster than anything. I don't know what... I I, I really don't know what these people think that they're going to accomplish. I really, really, really... Oh, yeah, KG and, and Paul Pierce, too. My bad. Shout out to Distorted for the sub and The Gifted. Yeah, to add on to what you said, though, I, I think this is a product of, number one, the players being current players... And number two, their podcasts are like weekly podcasts, um, or not not necessarily weekly podcasts, but but they're not interview heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a weekly podcast. What are the topics of this week? Kind of similar to what we're actually very similar to what we're doing. So instead of having this interview where we can talk about evergreen topics, they have to talk about what's going on this week. Like the same way we're talking about the trending topics on this podcast. So for D'Lo. On a D-Lo podcast for him, what's trending is the Darvin Ham situation. So not not justifying it, but as a content creator, I just see how they landed towards that conversation. I, I, you, when you're when you're mad, and I, this is the old saying: when you're mad and you want to tell somebody off, you want to say something, write it down, write it down, put it in the envelope, mail it tomorrow, give it to them tomorrow. If you wake up and you still feel that way, go ahead and do it. If you can think about what you said through the night or whatever the case may be, through the rest of the day or whatever it is, and say to yourself, you know what? I'm living these emotions right now, but in reality, I should not give that to that person. Then take it, ball it up, tear it up, whatever you want to do. This is, to me, this seems reactionary. If this was very thought out, then I would say that he skipped a lot of thoughts or steps in the thought process. I just can't, I cannot for the life of me figure out what D'Lo thinks this is going to do. Even Jonathan Kaminga. For that matter, any NBA player that really does this, what do you think that's I mean, going to do for you? Nothing. I mean, I mean, no, I won't say nothing. This would, and we had this conversation when we were talking about the thing in the space. This might be the way, even though it's a bad way. No one's saying it's a good way. This might be the way that he feels he needs to ruffle feathers enough to get moved. Because if you don't do something like this, he feels he's not going to get moved or not be put in a better situation or a different situation like he wants. Again, we've seen other players, obviously of higher echelons and higher stature. But we've seen players in the past, in recent history, do some things we would consider bad moves or bad ways just to get their way out of a situation, whether they force their way out or whatever. I, I bring up <clears throat> when Jimmy Butler was upset in Minnesota, and I understand Delo's not Jimmy Butler, but they're still NBA players. When Jimmy Butler was upset with Minnesota, he went, caused a ruckus in practice, and immediately left. That is what was reported. That is what Jeff T said on his own podcast from firsthand witness account. He left. And before he could talk to anybody, he did a whole national televised interview talking about the situation going on in that locker room. Now, that is deemed a bad way to handle that. What are you going to get out of this? He got what he wanted. He got the hell out of Minnesota. 
So and, and with James Harden, James Harden will do something where he will feel slighted, go over to China and tell a bunch of Chinese kids at a basketball camp, Daryl Morey is a liar. That what what does that do? That got him off the Sixers. If yeah. your plan is to get out of the situation, you're going to do whatever you see fit to get out, whether we can deem it a good way or a bad way. I think this is a bad way to do it. I mean, I, I like the approach, but I still think you went about it the wrong way because I don't agree with the message. But I like it. I'm talking to the media. I'm going to go talk about well, it. We, we got to talk about self-awareness at that point. That's when self-awareness has to step that, in. Yeah, that's super I, fair. I was, that's, that was going to be what my uh, minor intervention was or interruption would be is that – I actually agree uh, with Damo that, hey, you trying to get out. <laughs> That's the way to do it. That is the answer. But the thing is, my concern for the NBA going forth is, um, is this going to be every player? Like, is, it, like, is this going to be the ninth man's way of getting traded now? Because then I, I hate to be that guy. Not really. It, that's going to be a corny NBA. I'm sorry. If, if we're going to have to deal with, I mean, it, granted, he's in the name right now, but Jonathan Kaminga and D'Angelo Russell's, if that turns into Torian Prince and uh, Mo, and uh, not even Moses Moody because it's actually him. If, if Ty Ty like, Washington on the on the yeah, Bucks yeah, at the you, end you of the see bench. What I'm saying? Like, like if, if Joe Ingles is starting to do this and like it like and now it's like, all right, man, every role player that feels like they're underutilized is now going to essentially pick up a microphone or bash their coach live or anything like that. And now every fan base, because players are the holy grail to people, now every coach in the league got to get fired. Now every GM sucks in like as if nobody's doing their job correctly. And a lot of people are just trying to feed their family and get the dollars, but like none of them are doing it right. All right, bro. Now, now it's like, I, 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 I would say I don't think it's going to be a situation where just every ninth, 10th, and 11th man is doing it. I do feel like it's a situation where if the 8th, ninth, or 10th man that feels like they're being underutilized or whatever the number you are as a role player is being underutilized, the eccentric guys are going to start doing this. The more outspoken guys or the more out there guys, and maybe that's not a fair thing to say about Kaminga because I'm not a, I'm not a Warrior fan. I'm, I'm not familiar with who the hell Kaminga is and if he is one of those guys. I am a Laker fan. I do know of the things D'Lo did. I have heard about D'Lo throughout his career. D'Lo is not just the shut up and dribble guy. D'Lo, I, I would consider D'Lo under the tag of eccentric guys. Guys like J.R. Smith back in the day, Nick Young back in the day, I feel like they would do stuff like this if they were playing today. If Nick Young felt he wasn't getting his just dues, I could see Nick Young going on the podcast and be like, hey, man, niggas not let me shoot. I, I can score with the best of them or saying some stuff like that. If J.R. Smith wasn't getting his fair dues, I can see him going on a podcast or something like this to make a statement to get moved. I can see that. It was normal back then. I would call black ass stupid too. That's fine. I'm not even saying you can't call him stupid because I would agree. It is a dumb move whether you're a superstar or you're the 12th man on the bench. I do agree it's a bad move, but I do feel like I'm not mad. I'm not mad at players doing it. If it was a, if, if we're just going to boil it down to, is this something that should be normalized? Personally, I would say yeah, fuck it. Because what's going to happen? If, if anything, you're going to have Joe Ingles complaining, and what's going to happen? Joe's going to be cut, or he's going to get traded somewhere, realize he's Jordan Poole, and now Joe Ingles is playing in Australia. That will affect me. I, hey, if Joe Ingles ain't in the NBA no more, I'm not losing no sleep. It's not hurting me, and I'm not a fan. So I don't, no problem. I'm not a fan of the Magic, so I'm not mad if Joe Ingles is going on a – well, I messed with the Magic, but I'm not a Magic fan. I'm not upset if Joe Ingle goes on the Aussie podcast with Andrew Bogut and complains about his playing time on the Magic. That has, it's, it's entertainment to me. I, I'm all for it. I don't see where it's a bad thing where these players are voicing their concerns. Now, this is a thing where you have it, like with Kaminga, how Steve Kerr is like, hey, man, my door is always open if you need to talk. If this is a situation where these players aren't even going to the coaches, they're not voicing their concerns, they're just running straight to social media, straight to podcasts, all right, we have a conversation about how whack this is and this doesn't need to be a thing. But if I've been on the team for two, three years and you've been complaining and nothing's happened, you got to take it a step further to get your voice heard, in my I'm, opinion. I'm, I'm for that, but – and this is going to make me sound crazy, especially if we get into a certain topic later, but it is what it is. I'm for that unless it's like a, a literal sophomore in the league, a rookie in the league. Like, I'm sorry, but it's a level of cringe to that because you are drafted there. 90% chance because the team is not good. <laughs> the, the team is not good. And while everyone 
every every especially if you're on a team full of young talent, everyone is trying to literally get a name for themselves. The coach don't even know what the system should be because he don't even know who's good. Like we're trying to figure that out game by game. And if you're a second year player, even a third year player, your game hasn't fully developed. We don't even know necessarily what you're going to be good at for the next decade of your life. And you're over here telling a coach how they should be like calling plays for you and all this extra stuff being essentially heliocentric. Just give me the ball. Give me a screen and give me a shooter. It's like it's a domino. That's what scares me. I don't know if I'm phrasing that right, but what scares me is they'll go from guys like D'Angelo Russell, who's a former all star D'Angelo Russell, who was able to even arguably in a nasty man's way, change culture in Brooklyn to all right, man. Now we got GP two doing it. And then after GP two, I ain't going to lie. Hey, Cooper Flag just got drafted in 20 games in. He tired of it too. And then at some point, all right, bro. Now, now everybody is doing the same thing day in and day out. It's it's getting corny. I, I think it's a domino that's that's destined to fall if it happens. I looked at the teams, don't know where D Lo can go, where he would go and get his ideal situation. Besides, oh. besides Beijing. I don't know about that. He's in Boston, uh, but I think I think all it would take for D'Lo. I'll disagree there. D'Lo just needs a good backup big. I think y'all would Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me, let me say this. Best. If he I'm was in, it. if he was in Boston, y'all weren't running pick and rolls with D'Lo. Yeah, we are. With Luke and Porzingis, pick and pops. I just want Peyton Pritchard gone, dog. I ain't going. Yeah, I'm about to say. Ah. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ah. I'm saying, man, God, I don't know if that should be y'all. He's play. not scoring. What does he do? Probably what? rebounding. Well, it's D-Lo. Not too that's, much on PP. He gives you. He gives you the off the the uh the off the off the stat sheet plays. That's things that's that really, is, I, I'm not gonna lie. As of right now, I mean, if this is if they're not about to just pack it in and just if they're not gonna pack it in and tank. Why wouldn't he go to Memphis? Oh, I'm done for the season. Okay. Um, I'm no dead serious. No, no, that, no. That's, no that's, I, that's, I, that's, I, that's, I, that's I, I hear you. He'll run. He'll be able to run. He'll he'll be able to run pick and rolls with Triple J. And I think Marcus, is a shooter. Marcus Smart is hurt too. If I'm they would throw so, I mean, the right hand. At, the fans would throw the meanest right hook if they did that. Though they'd be like, "You really trying?" You got D'Lo <laughs> make the play or Vincent William Jr. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna lie, D'Lo or Vincent William Jr. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, You're wrong. No, you are I, not wrong. Honestly, I, I'm though. not gonna lie. Because how long? How old is Vincent William Jr.? He's like t- uh, last time I checked, he's not a. I don't think he's younger. I think he's like 22, 23. I would rather I see what he got. I would rather see what he got, build with him, and then. You if know, you're not man. trying to t- again, if you're not, if they're trying to tank, man, bring back Kenny Lofton, call up, they can, call they, up they, Gigi they Jackson, they can't call up they all that. Big Ken. They can't not tank. Nah, I, you know what though? I ain't gonna lie. They've they've distanced themselves further enough, and I'm He's all for tanking. But ball. you don't have to be historically bad. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. What's up with the Spurs? What, what's what's up, what's up with the Spurs running? Oh, winning, not winning a guard. <sighs> Oh, they got him as a shooting guard. Somebody say he's a six four power forward. They have list. They have him listed as a shooting guard. Not, I thought I he was a. I knew he was a guard. I wouldn't enter him on the Spurs either. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I just want them to. Every time I see Trey Jones and Vic do anything, it looks nice. Go ahead and get D'Lo, who's a better shooter for, for unless I'm drunk. He's a no, better you're not. shooter. I, ahead, I don't think you're drunk. I would say there's there's not nowhere he can go. There, there's definitely. A team, I, two, or even no, 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 three. Listen, trying to win a championship? Then, no, 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 no. But I don't think you're trying to win a championship, though. No, that's no, no. no. Yeah. What, I, I, what I'm saying, what I, when I say there's nowhere for him to go, I'm talking about a team that's going to say, you know what? Fuck it. We'll change what we're doing. Let's let's get him some of these. Let's get these D-low pick and rolls going. Now, if you're, if you're talking about because Memphis truly has no other offensive option, sure, I guess. I would say to them, yo, bro. Let's just let's just go ahead and just pack it in for the season. We got too many injuries going on. We wasn't gonna do shit anyway. We was trying to sell some tickets. Let's let's do something different. I would not think that D Lo pick and rolls would be the option that I would go to, but fine. I'll give that team a possibility. But everybody else, nah, I wouldn't. I don't I don't see nobody else. I got I got I'd go Denver if they didn't have Reggie Jackson. Yeah, I got that's actually I would say rolls in Denver. No, if they didn't have if they didn't have Reggie, that'd be fine. But um You see that one game where um Jamal Murray and um Jokic were out? Yo, Reggie Jackson was just crazy. But you're talking about but you're talking about a game where we have to now take two of their primary guys out. 
But I'm still I talking was, about in terms of a team where he can utilize what he's talking about. No, no, I, no, that's not what I'm saying. I, I believe there are teams with a guy that's a role man and a shooter like that. NBA yeah, teams he's saying, have he's that. saying build the whole system around. So like starting lineup type shit, unless I'm mistaken what you're talking about. And, and, well, not even that, no, like no. adopt that play style. If they don't have that play style, if they're not playing that way, then d gets there and they're playing that way. I feel you. I, that's why I'm not just naming teams, but I would say even a team like, and I'm trying to think who they're, what their yeah, guard situation is. nasty in. names, but. I'm going to uh, say it's going to be nasty names, but I feel like they will fit the mold of what d wants. I would say Utah. Yeah, I, I was thinking Utah, you could get disgusting in, say, Cleveland. But, uh, nah, it's not my name. Yeah, yeah this is disgusting. <laughs> P.U. That was um, P.U. You can make it work. Be so can you, you can do it. It's can just, you play that clip I just sent you? Because I think it's Rashard McCant, Stephen A. Smith, Kobe. Not working on your end. No, I don't know why. The Gilbert Arena, I, I can't load videos from Gilbert's Twitter page. Oh, you're banned, buddy. Because someone else, because I'm going to go be at somebody and it's going to look crazy. Oh, oh shit. Uh, let me